Hello, and today I'm going to be discussing how Norman from Defenders of the Stickbot is actually evil and is in fact not the hero of the series. We all think he is. Now, for this theory to make sense, I do have to mention every single movie in the Defenders franchise. Yes, even Aquafang, because uh, that's kind of, uh, you know, the prequel and stuff. So, let's get started. Now, first of all, the most important part... Uh, from Aquafang right now is that Noah found Norman, which basically just kind of started the Defenders and the rest of the journey. So when we look in the first Defenders movie, we see that Norman loses the Vanisher. Okay, you know, ki kind of understandable mistake, I, I guess. I mean, it's not like it's the most powerful thing in the stickball world or anything like that. And then when they go and go find the Vanisher, Norman literally tells everyone to leave the base, and they only leave Skelebro at the base. And what do you know, Skelebro can't keep the base safe because he is one person and he is super weak. Now first of all, if Norman's like a leader, he is a pretty terrible leader. Oh, and what do you know, they can't even find the Vanisher despite the fact that they have like 10 plus people looking for it. So what was the point of even bringing them there? And what's kind of weird is Skelebro kind of just gets knocked and launched conveniently to where the defenders are, almost like this was a setup. Because why would the people that want the Vanisher do that? Because that would make the defenders more powerful when they have the fight for the Vanisher. So why would he be knocked specifically right beside the defenders? Hmm. And you know, the rest of the movie is kind of just like normal, you know, normal stuff. They vanish bolt away, and you know, they live happily ever after, oh so we think. Now, in the second Defenders movie, we see that Norman actually does become evil because of his past. I guess he just magically just becomes evil for some reason. But that's not why he's evil. He just randomly turns normal, like there isn't any like message about power of friendship, or about how it's the friends we made along the way or anything like that. He literally just turns normal. How does he do this? Well, I think he's doing this on purpose. And then in the third movie, he becomes friends with Volt, just randomly. Volt literally just says one line of message and then Norman's like, oh yeah, sure. It's almost like Norman doesn't care who's on which side. Because if he actually cared about who's on the Defenders, why would he literally let one of the main villains on the Defenders' side? After one single sentence about how he's good now. Okay, then everything's fine. But then Norman says the famous line, the line that made me start thinking this theory all the way back in the year 2020. Take your armor off. Why on earth would he say this? He literally said how he was not sure what was going to happen, and they literally told everyone to take their armor off. Almost like Norman knew what was going to happen next. Oh, and what do you know? There's an attack. And everyone got hurt. And guess who was fine? Norman, because he had his armor. Everyone else was super injured. Like, why on earth would he do this? And then, when Hex is interrogating him about the Vanisher, Norman just straight up tells him where the Vanisher is. Almost like he doesn't actually care where the Vanisher is, or who has it. And then when Norman reunites with the Defenders, he kind of like, acts sad. But is he actually sad? He has literally made so many mistakes throughout his entire journey of being the lead of Defenders. Sure, people make mistakes, but do they really make them to this extreme? Oh, and then when they get to the edge of the world to, you know, stop, um, Hex from using the Vanisher, Norman explains the reason why he told everyone to take, take their armor off was because he didn't want them to get hurt. What kind of argument is that? He's not even trying to hide the fact that he's evil at this point. Oh, and what do you know, a fight happens and oh no, Noah gets hurt. Oh. It almost feels like Norman was purposely trying to do that. But you know, Noah doesn't die, so it's all fine. And then, oh no, there's some danger, so they gotta, they gotta go back to Stickbot City to save everyone. And that is when, in the beginning of the fourth movie, the dr little dream sequence? I don't think that's a dream. I'm pretty sure that's foreshadowing. 
for what Norman wants. Norman wants everyone to be on his side so then he can specifically put together an army and kill everyone. And then also during the fourth movie, this character called Brody is actually trying to save everyone by assassinating Norman. But everyone gets so mad at him because he did something wrong, when he's actually been doing something right this entire time. Now, if we look at all the info I just dropped, we see that Norman has made numerous mistakes throughout the entire series. Now, like I said, people make mistakes, but do they make them to this extreme? It almost seems like that Norman specifically is the leader of the Defenders, and he makes everyone seem like he's against the other side, when actually he's not. He's not with any side. He is actually the stickbot that is in control of everything. He is the one that is orchestrating this entire timeline. So it plays out how he wants, and then when it gets to the point where he can use the Vanisher, he'll vanish everyone, killing everyone, and taking over the entire world. Cause think about this, whenever time someone on the other side literally does anything, Norman accepts either way. In secret, when Volt wanted to join the Defenders, he was like, sure, but no one saw that conversation. When Hex was asking about the Vanisher, he agreed, but no one was in sight. And he didn't really act surprised at all, because he probably wanted this to happen. Norman is a deranged psychopath that just wants power over everything. And if we literally look in the prequel movie, the Aquafang movie, like, what was going on here? Aquafang was, like, executing people, but why was that? There wasn't any reason for it. Uh, sure, maybe it's because it was being run by someone that's slightly evil, but is that really the case? Well, no. That's because this was actually the death row. And this was the electrical chair. Norman has been serving in prison for years, but he was finally put on death row and ready to be killed. But by sure coincidence, he was able to get out. Now, why was Norman probably in death row? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because he had multiple criminal charges. And I don't think his name is even Norman. Because if people knew that he was on death row, he would probably not be accepted into anything. And that is why he probably went by a different name and probably made himself look a little bit different. Just so he could cover the fact that he's actually a criminal. And he was a criminal all this time, and he never actually cared about saving the world. He just cared about having the world in his hands so he's able to literally do anything with power. And that is how Norman is evil and how he is not good and he never wanted to save anyone in the first place. But hey, that's just a theory, a stickbot theory. I'm really happy I was finally able to uh, present this theory because I've literally had it in the back of my mind for over three and a half years. Because all the puzzle pieces just fit together and Norman is evil.